Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel. So today as promised we're doing a video of all my Monster High dolls which is a good timing for this because um, I'm gonna get my shelves put up soon so I needed to take them all down and clean them. Um, I have a little clip of all the ones I have hanging on my walls already. I have them just hanging up with little tacks. They're still in their boxes. I actually don't have any Monster High dolls not in boxes except for the one I customized that you saw previously. Anyway, I'm going to pull them all down and let's take a look at them. Alright, let's do a quick scan of the Monster High dolls that I have hanging on my walls. Um, these are the smaller box ones, so the little bit cheaper ones. Spectra, we have a Frankie here. She is from the newer line, so but her face wasn't too bad. Some of the faces on the newer lines were, like, overly cute. Um, let's see. Gulia. GG. One of my favorite ones. Oh, they're hanging up so high. Uh, Sia Cupid. I'm so happy I ended up getting her when she came out. Oh, she was a Walmart exclusive. Um, then Operetta. I have another small one of Katrine up there. I have a couple of Ever After High Dolls. Those are the only two Ever After High Dolls I got. And I only got them because uh, they were on clearance. But actually I'm sad that I didn't buy more of them because they're really cute. They just have a larger head sculpt than Monster High Dolls. Let's see. There's some Haunted series. Venus McFly Trap. Another Ghoulia. Another Katrine. Frankie. Abby Abominable, Twyla, oh my gosh, yeah, I really loved the series where they did um, the Freak to Chic series. I wish I would have gotten more of those ones. I have a Rochelle here. And then this one, oh my gosh, when she came out, I had to have her. I want to say about all the dolls, like, oh, I had to have her. She was my favorite, but I did. They are all my favorite. Look at her. She's beautiful. Here's another uh, Freak to Chic one with Honey Swamp. She looks so cute in this one. I love her hair. Everything about it actually is awesome. And then I have another Venus McFly trap from the Gloom and Bloom one. Um, yes, very cute. She comes with a little plant. You know, I think I would like to take them out of their boxes, but they're so much safer in there. They're safe. They're happy. Their hair's not getting messed up. I'm not losing any pieces. Uh, next, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take down the Monster High dolls I have sitting on the top of my shelves. I have a couple shelves that need to be put up that I want to display them on, but husband, why have you not put up my shelves yet? So those are all the ones hanging on my wall. There should have been a little clip of that. Now these are all the ones I had up on um, a shelf. They were just all kind of stacked on top of each other until I could get some shelves up to display them a little better so you could actually see which ones they are. So I am just going to clean them off and show them to you one by one. The dollies. They are so cute. Okay, so I have this one. It's a great scarier reef. Um, Grape scare your wreath. What are their names? Pearl and something. Oh, so cute. Their names are not right on here. What is it? Oh yeah, Perry and Pearl. I couldn't remember Perry for some reason. But I really wanted this one, the two-headed mermaid. I thought it was super cool that they created a doll like that. So I knew when she came out I had to have her. There's actually a lot from the Great Scary Reef that I wish I would have gotten and now it's going to be really hard to get them. But yeah, so there's that one. Want to have me the next one, baby? Can you have me one? Can it to me? Oh, there you go. This one right here is a special Draculaura um, cafe set. I actually kind of want to take this one out of the box because she has a lot of cute accessories and like a little cafe drinks but she's so she's so safe in her box <laughs> I don't know why but I just I can't bear to take them out of their boxes and it's not like these monster idols are worth a lot of money or anything like that they're just worth a lot to me 
and um, yeah, I hate to take them out of the box. So there is a Draculaura. Here, baby, you can play with it. Well, you can't take it out, but you can you can look at it. Okay, next one we have a Haunted. Oh yeah, she's the one that has like the no face. What is it? Kiyomi? Kiyomi Haunterly? So she just has like an all white makeup. She's from the Ghost line. A lot of them have those little chains on them. Very cute. I think her she's a little translucent. Not quite as translucent as um, some of the other dolls. But she has like a ghostly sheen to her. Oh, okay. This next one is super cute. Also, they're all really cute. Like, what am I talking about? This is the Deer Spirit one. So that you said John. Was it Dancer? John Dancer? But... She is so cute, this little deer, deer one. And I really wanted her, but I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on her. So I was lucky and I waited it out and eventually she went on clearance. So I think I got this one for like $5. A lot of them I wait to see if I can get them on clearance. So yeah, I was really lucky. I happened to find one of her in the clearance. I was all, oh, it was meant to be, I was meant to get her. So there's her. You wanna show me the next one? I see it. I have a little helper here today helping me get the dolls out. This one was actually a gift from a friend. Um, it's the giant one. What is it? Gilop Daughter of Unknown. She's a really, really large sized doll that people love to customize. She's huge. Can't remember if she's 18 or 24 inches. I feel like she's got to be as tall as my girls over there. She's probably 24 inches. I bet. So she's pretty big. Anyway, I got this from a friend. She had ordered one online and they accidentally sent her two. So lucky me, I got her. Um, yeah, most of my dolls and stuff I get on sale because I'm cheap like that. Anyway, thank you. The next one I have is another Draculaura. Draculaura is one of my favorite Monster High dolls, but this is from one of their not, I guess it's not new anymore, but when they came out with the new doll series and stuff like that. So welcome to Monster High doll. So she has a little bit different phrase than the normal Draculaura dolls, but I thought she was still cute and worth getting and her dress was really, really nice. So I was like, okay, I'll get her, even though she's not as like edgy, I guess, as the other doll doll face ups. Um, next one. Oh, it's another Draculaura. This one is Draculaura from the art class. I liked it because she had like different colored hair. Um, her makeup's not my favorite of hers, but I really love the orange and yellow on her outfit, like the drip, drip style and art. It's very, very cute. I knew, um, I ordered her special because I really wanted her. Oh, baby, no! I should change my camera a little bit. But we'll move on to the next doll, which is another cat train. I think I have like three, maybe four. Squat, squat. This one, I think, is the, is it the Gloom and Bloom ones? Bloom and Bloom ones, yes. I have a couple of dolls from this series because I really loved it. They're like dark and creepy and cute. I guess that's Monster High dolls, but adorable. Squat, squat. Can you have me the next one? Squat. Next one. She took my rag. Get back. Um, this one's LED from the Boo York, Boo York series. I thought she was really cute and she kind of has like a power button on her forehead, I believe. Yeah, that's why I wanted her and I liked her metallic, metallic little uh, skirt thing going on. I thought she was really cool. Don't knock it over, baby. Here go. No, I don't want to hold that one, baby. Really? No. All right, got another, uh, this one I, is one of the freaky fusion ones. She's like a ghost mermaid, and um, she's from that movie with the unicorn guy and stuff like that. I really wish I would have gotten the unicorn guy, whatever his name is. But yeah, she, oh, I need to clean up, clean up these packages really good before I display them. But she, I feel like she was one of the first mermaids that they came out with for Monster High, and she was a ghost mermaid. So she was like lots of blues and purple colors, which I really like, so One, had to have her. Two, four, five, six, the next one I have here is um, a couple. It's Gulia and is his name Simon? Solomon? Solomon? Slow-mo. 
I'll, I don't know the names sometimes, okay? Forgive me. I just know the main ones that are my favorite. I love Gulia. She's one of my favorites, too. I wish that in the show they did her a little more justice. Like, I hate that she sounds like a zombie. So I'm glad that they fixed that in the new series, except they got rid of Gulia. She's like a head in a jar or something like that. I don't know. Pretty disappointing. But again, I saw this on sale. I think I got this one at Target, and it was on sale for like $10. And I was like, $2 or $10. I bought me one and I bought my mom one. My mom has a collection of Monster High Dolls now, thanks to me, because every time I found one on sale that I wanted, I would get her her own of the same one. Of course, I would look through the face of them and see which one I liked better, which one didn't have as many paint defects, but... Wow, so cute. Now, this last Monster High Doll, I believe this is the last one, is a very special one. It was an Amazon exclusive, Draculaura. And she, um, she was a pretty expensive doll because she was like a collector's edition. Collector's edition and yeah, she has, she's one of the first Monster High dolls to have eyelashes and like this really detailed outfit and umbrella. And I had to have her and it's a good thing I did because she's impossible to find anymore. Some of these dolls you can still find pretty decently online, like on eBay and stuff like that. I have a couple dolls that are more expensive that if I wanted to buy them, they'd be a couple hundred dollars. This is one of them. So if I wanted to find her on eBay or something like that, because she was Amazon exclusive, she is more. Um, I think they had a couple, like the Lady Gaga one was really cool. I regret not getting that one. There's a lot of dolls I regret not getting, but I have a pretty big collection, so it's like... Did you really need those dolls? Do you really need these dolls? I don't know. Yes. The answer is yes. Anyway, I'm going to be filming um, my anime figure collection next. I'm going to do it today too since, you know, I don't want to waste the makeup. So, um, plus with my upcoming surgery, like I said, I wanted to get a couple videos filmed out of the way. So when I'm recovering, I have something to show you guys. So Monster High dolls, check. Next thing I'm recording all the anime figures I have. I have a couple that I'm gonna open up and stuff like that too. Okay, see you next time.